Hello everybody, today I have a review for you on the Landland Scoparil. This is a 4x4 modification produced by Landland, and it's just a pretty cool puzzle itself, but I don't really know much about the puzzle, so I'm going to try my best on this review. So let's get into it. Out of, out of the box, I noticed that this puzzle turned fairly stiff as well, and I also noticed that this puzzle does not corner cut. So I came to the conclusion that this has a ball core in the center. You can see not it doesn't even corner cut from like the slightest piece. That doesn't even corner cut. It doesn't allow it to. So this has to be a ball core. So upon knowing that, I decided to try my best to lubricate the puzzle and I took some Maru lubricant and I just wedged the nozzle between some pieces and I was able to lubricate it slightly and I noticed that um, immediately after lubing it, the puzzle began to turn a little bit better. However, the puzzle still locks up. And that's one of the major drawbacks to this puzzle. Because it's a ball core, it tends to lock up quite a bit. Um, how it is now, the puzzle, like I said, it still locks up. It doesn't corner cut, and it's still a little bit on the stiff side. You can see it just locked up there, and you can hear it. There's so much friction between the pieces that it actually starts like, clicking. Now I don't know how to solve a 4x4, so generally I'm not I'm not gonna know how this puzzle uh, is to be solved. But I do know that when you solve 4x4, you go for these four uh, center pieces first, and then you go working on like pairing up edges and all that stuff. But um, because this puzzle has like no definite centers, you can pair up these corners or these these uh, centers. Um, in whatever way you want, because this is still solved. So is this. The only way that this isn't solved if it's something like that. So I guess you could say that this puzzle's a hair easier than a 4x4, but you still have to know how to solve the 4x4 in order to solve this puzzle. Um, the quality of this puzzle is very high. Um, when you shake it, the pieces don't rattle around, and it's so stiff, it's like ridiculous because this puzzle is just such high quality that the the pieces hardly want to turn and that's that's how good it is it's actually a drawback to this puzzle and it does not corner cut at all like I stated before so you can try turning this and then corner cutting and it, it doesn't it doesn't corner cut all right it tries to but I'm probably gonna break the pieces if I try cut, uh, corner cutting this yeah not even from there well it, it sort of did but this doesn't this generally doesn't corner cut. Um the stickers on this puzzle are very high quality. I've had this for quite a while and um this the stickers haven't chipped yet. And in comparison to the four by four hexagonal die pyramid, if you're deciding between either one, like on uh, one of my viewers asked, um somebody posted a comment on my unboxing video for the Landland Scop Reel which is my birthday puzzles video. Um, somebody asked whether they should get the 4x4 hexagonal die pyramid or the Landland Scop Reel, and I will tell you right off the bat, definitely get this. After about a day of having this, one of the centerpieces broke actually, and I had to super glue it. Right there you could see a fine little line, and I hardly used this, and after about a month and a half of sitting in my drawer, this puzzle already started chipping in many places, so this puzzle is definitely not high quality. However, this is like everything much better. The only thing is, they both have a ball core, so neither of them turn perfectly. But, this definitely turns much better. Uh, if you, like, if you could figure out a way to remove the lockups, then this puzzle turns much better than this one. And you can see it's very, uh, still very stiff. It locks up, and overall, it's just not a good quality puzzle. So, if you're deciding between the Landland Scop Row and the the and not the Enchang, um, just the regular 4x4 hexagonal die pyramid, definitely get the Scop Row because it's much better. Um, any additional thoughts on this puzzle? I really don't have any because um, this 
Also, I don't, I'm, I'm not a 4x4 four four person. I actually don't even own a real 4x4. Four four. The only one that I actually own would be... Where did I put it? The only one I actually own would be this one. But, um, it's a super... It's a 4x4 four four super cube. And I do not want to remove the stickers on this because once I get a real 4x4, four four, then I want to, um... Once I get a real 4x4, four four, I want to learn how to solve super cube and it'll just... Uh, continue adding to my knowledge on how to solve different puzzles. So, would I recommend the Land Land Scop Reel? Um, if you're into the 4x4 and you're into shape mods, then get this. Other than that, it really doesn't turn that great, so I wouldn't recommend it for turning quality. But overall, this puzzle is very durable. I've dropped it quite a few times. Stickers haven't chipped. The puzzle is still highly... Uh, it's still highly intact and still uh, fairly durable. Um, only drawback is that it's a ball core, so it doesn't turn as great as you would like it. Other than that, this puzzle, um, it's pretty good. And I'm just going to end off this video with a size comparison. With this puzzle laying down, it is about a half, it's a hair larger than your typical 3 by 3 I'd say about half an inch, quarter of an inch. Um, be like three quarters of an inch larger than your standard three by three and standing up it's about twice its height so it's a fairly big puzzle other than that thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed my review on the land land scop rail and i'll see you next video